This workshop will review the three units of measurement, metric conversions, converting between units, and how to calculate drug dosage conversions using the four listed methods. All four methods will result in the same answer. Use the method that makes the most sense to you and stick with it. There are three units of measurement, household, apothecary, and metric. It is important to note that the apothecary system does not use decimals. These measurements must be in the form of whole numbers, fractions, or Roman numerals. Also, the unit of measurement comes before the number, whereas in the case of household or metric units, the unit of measure comes after the number. The metric system is based on units of 10. Prefixes are used to show what unit of 10 is being referred to. The units you will be using for drug dosage calculations are all three decimal places away from each other, units of 1,000. For this reason, when performing conversions from one metric unit to another, you may simply move the decimal three places to the left or right, depending on the conversion. Conversion factors are used to convert from one form of a unit to another. A conversion factor is a known relationship between two units, such as one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. This can be set up in three separate forms, depending on the method you choose to perform your conversions. There are four methods for performing these conversions. The ratio, or rainbow, method, which uses colons to set up the conversion factor. The proportion method, which uses a fraction to set up the conversion factor. Dimensional analysis, which also uses a fraction to set up the conversion factor. However, the equal sign comes at the end of the conversion rather than in the middle like the proportion method does. These are similar to the calculations performed in chemistry. Last is the formula method where the dosage desired, or ordered, is divided by the dosage strength available, or on hand, then multiplied by the quantity, or unit of measure, that contains the dosage that is available, such as the number of tablets, capsules, or milliliters. It is important with all four methods to include the unit of measure along with each number. First, let's show a calculation using the ratio method, sometimes referred to as the rainbow method. We want to calculate how many pounds are equivalent to 10 kilograms. First, find the known conversion factor. We know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Then, set up a relationship between the known conversion factor and the unit you are changing. Notice that on the left-hand side of the equal sign, where we write the known conversion of one kilogram to 2.2 pounds, kilograms is first and pounds is second. On the right-hand side of the equal sign, be sure that the order of units is the same as it is on the left. 10 kilograms is first, then x pounds is second. Multiply the means, the inside numbers, and the extremes, the outside numbers. Then solve for x. Next, we will use the proportion method. We want to calculate how many pounds are equivalent to 10 kilograms. First, find the known conversion factor. We know that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Then, set up a relationship between the known conversion factor and the unit you are changing. On the left side of the equal sign is the known conversion factor of 1 kilogram to 2.2 pounds in the form of a fraction. On the right hand side of the equal sign, be sure that the order of units is the same as it is on the left. 10 kilograms is in the numerator and x pounds is in the denominator. Next, cross multiply, then solve for x. Next, we will use dimensional analysis. We want to calculate how many pounds are equivalent to 10 kilograms. We have a known conversion factor of 1 kilogram to 2.2 pounds. Begin with the unit you want to change, 10 kilograms. Next, multiply it by the known conversion factor. Since we want the unit of kilograms to cancel out, we will put 1 kilogram in the denominator of the conversion factor and 2.2 pounds in the numerator. Cancel the units where possible, multiply across, then simplify. Last, we will use the formula method. We want to calculate how many pounds are equivalent to 10 kilograms. We have a known conversion factor of 1 kilogram to 2.2 pounds. Begin by setting up the formula using the desired dosage of 10 kilograms. Under the 10 kilograms, place the strength that is available, 1 kilogram. Then multiply by the unit of measure we know contains 1 kilogram, in this case, 2.2 pounds. Then multiply across and simplify. Now let's solve an actual drug calculation problem. The doctor orders 500 milligrams of Tylenol. You have on hand 200 milligram tablets. 
What calculation needs to be performed in order to give the desired amount of medication? We need to change 500 milligrams into a specific number of tablets. In order to do this, we need a conversion factor between milligrams and tablets. According to the problem, we know that each tablet contains 200 milligrams. This relationship is our conversion factor. You may wish to purchase the textbook for drug dosage calculations, which is available at Germanus Bookstore. The text provides many practice problems and the solutions that go with them. We also have handouts that you may use for extra practice. These can be picked up outside our office at either the Locust Grove campus or the Fredericksburg area campus, or you may download them from the Tutoring Services website. You will find these handouts located under Helpful Handouts. If you still feel you need more of an explanation, please contact our office for one-on-one -on -one tutoring.